Despite repeatedly being told by old tapioca brain and his dumbass minions in the establishment propaganda media that no one is above the law, maybe I can get a pardon after saying the things that need to be said. Forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, <laughs> lobbying to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. Hey everybody, your resident man in black is back again for a new edition of the best kept secret in the conservative movement right here on MRC TV. I'm Nick Kangatis. Really quick, head on over to Rumble, subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. And no matter where you watch our videos, please share, like, and don't be afraid to leave a comment. I actually read what you guys have to say and I occasionally respond, so don't be shy. Now, on with the show. Folks, while things look to be improving in the near future, that doesn't mean that the people who currently feel defeated won't continue to be the corrupt, perverted distorters of truth that they've always been. So this is the only Hunter pardon related tidbit I'm going to talk about because of course daddy was always going to pardon his son no matter how many times he and the people who make excuses for him said he wouldn't. But Eric Swalwell? You remember this guy, right? Chris, so far, the evidence is uncontradicted that the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. He says that political opponents of Biden should sit out criticizing the move because you have no right to do so when you support a criminal like President-elect Donald Trump. Cheat. This coming from a guy who allegedly banged a Chinese spy. Remember Fang Fang? <laughs> Hello, you all the Chinese food? Oh, we got a lot of food here, it's cold outside. Anyway, enough about people from communist utopias. How about George Lopez, another communist who seemingly gives people like Diddy a pass despite being known for his no holds barred style of comedy? What's that, George? Diddy's off limits? George, in your stand up routine, are you going to cover the Diddy scandal at all? Have you thought about covering it and how you're going to approach it? Uh, I probably won't. So you think Diddy's off limits completely? I remember when Lopez was actually funny years ago. Isn't it peculiar that most people in Hollywood, at least back in the day, just tried to entertain people until they lived in their bubble for long enough that they felt the right to crap on at least half of their audience? It's like they have to appease some Hollywood overlord to remain relevant and jettison their talent in favor of The Message. And then there are those that make excuses for literal perverts who like to dress in drag, typically lingerie, and read books to kids at schools and libraries while their tolerant mothers and beta fathers cheer on the weirdos. And let's not get it twisted. Drag queen story hour is weird. 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 So sometimes you have to put the tolerant in their place. Remember when there was like these stories of like the drag queens teaching like uh, teaching kids how to read? Yes. And if a dad or mom goes, yo, 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 yo what the? Why are there drag queens teaching kids Don't how call to read? Me homo Thank you. Transphobic. Yo. That explain that. Shit. It's weird. I don't even it's not that. like we ain't all go to kindergarten. I, and maybe this makes me pretentious. Maybe it makes me elitist. I want you to finish what you about to say. It, you don't think it what? Impacts people's lives in a real way. But it impacted Stop. the election. Okay. Stop. But, but that's what, but even if it don't thing. impact your life, it impacted the election. This is the biggest cop out. No, this no, is the biggest cop. cop. No, no, I'm, I'm telling you it is because when you say it doesn't impact people's lives. Oh, may, may, may I finish? It doesn't. May I finish? Yeah. You just double down. What you're telling, what you're telling me, this is the, the messaging I get, right? Right. right. I, I'm telling you, this is a deal to me. And what you're telling me is that I'm weird. This is the pretentiousness that is so baked into democratic politics that drives people crazy. I'm telling you, hey, 
I, I don't understand this and it makes me feel a little uncomfortable. And you're going, no one really cares about this. This is not a big deal. Right. What is your care? Like, because I'm asking questions? And the second you do that to the majority of the country, which is what you're doing, they start going, man, f these guys. Let's go, Trump, fix this whole shit. These went too far. I can't even ask a question when I do. They act like I'm stupid. Hold on, I, don't I find it weird that people have normalized a dude dressing in chicks clothing and underwear while wearing so much makeup that it would make the women in a department store makeup section blush. Oh, oh, this is just, you look fabulous. Look at you. And a little more on the cheeks. Ah, and a little more ah, on my cheeks. Ah, about about, 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 about but those same people have made clowns the most dangerous and weird thing on the planet. I loved Bozo the Clown as a kid, and he was a lot less threatening to a child's development than any bedazzled freak show twerking in front of children is. He's the one with the ton of fun. He's the ace with the crazy face. A mile of smiles and a laugh in a half. He's the clown that won't let you down. I'm not gonna play a clip from any of those freaks attempting to groom kids, but sure, Bozo's the weird one. But, and perhaps the biggest one of them all, be careful about people who called all of us 1930s and 40s German soldiers, white supremacists and domestic terrorists for years and years. It doesn't matter what human rights organization they work for, they hate you for being white. And the last point I would say, caravan, open borders. These are literally white supremacist phrases that have worked their way through the system and somehow landed in the talking points coming out of the West Wing. So we should be careful about using these phrases because we're literally using the narrative of these hateful, disgusting people. And if they seem to change course now that they see the shift in the country, trust them with a grain of salt. Uh, ben Stiller, who we, who we uh, just kind of saw there, uh, said, uh, woke killed comedy, which is crazy mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. he supports yeah, right. the woke that killed comedy. <laughs> Weird and how that works out. Mm -hmm. He's idiots. Yeah. yeah. Hypocritical. Yeah. Well, they're, they're going to pretend like they've been against it all along. Yep. A cultural change is happening, and there's yep. going to be a lot of people that are going to pretend that they were against this the whole time. Oh, ben yeah. Stiller being that. one of them. If you notice throughout this video and my previous few videos, I've been showing you more and more clips from alternative media sources because they're way more honest and entertaining than anything you'll see on any channel on TV. People like Brandon Tatum, Mark Dice, Nerd Roddick, Tim Pool, and more will be the predominant voices of what you see on this program going forward because besides mockery the american people have no use for the establishment propaganda media any longer you're worthless you're less than nothing what's keeping you here you don't belong here why don't you just quit for you lefties you were warned we told you for years that you were going down a very destructive path, despite all the ad hominem attacks you unleashed on us. Well, playtime's over. So, who's gonna be butthurt this week? Were these things that needed to be said? Let me know in the comments where I do read most and reply to some. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on Rumble and hit that like button. If you like this video, don't forget to share, comment, and give it a thumbs up. Those are the best ways to help these videos reach more people, and it's the best way to let us know you want us to keep these videos coming. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that YouTube might actually let you know when MRC TV comes out with a new video if they haven't censored or taken it down yet. Like us on Facebook, check out more of our work at mrctv.org, and if you want to support our content and the conservative movement, head on over to mrc.org slash donate to help us out since we're a nonprofit and couldn't do what we do without all of you. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kingadis.